There is a voice that cries out in the silence, searching for a heart that would love him, longing for a child that would give him their all. Give it all. He wants it all. Good morning and welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. Better than when you heard it yesterday. I'm CJ. Let's get it started. Major League Baseball was jammed with games yesterday as one National League game played out with the Houston Astros getting shut out and literally spanked by the San Francisco Giants as Matt Kane threw the very first perfect game in the Giants 130 year history with 14 strikeouts and also the 22nd perfect game in Major League history. And in the American League stadiums, the interleague games continue and the Pittsburgh Pirates were clobbered by the Baltimore Orioles 7-1. The New York Mets annihilated the Tampa Bay Rays with a one-hitter from R.A. Dickey. The Arizona Diamondbacks were shut out by the Texas Rangers 1-0, while the Milwaukee Brewers were edged out by the Kansas City Royals in 11 innings 4-3. The Philadelphia Phillies eked out a 1-1 win against the Minnesota Twins 9-8. The San Diego Padres shut out. The Seattle Mariners won to zero, and Steven Strasburg continued his dominance and struck out eight batters in six innings to notch his eighth win of the season, as the Nationals pounded the Toronto Blue Jays 6-2. to two. With the NBA Finals off last night, the Queens of the Basketball Court tipped off with two games on tap as the LA Sparks dribbled past the Connecticut Sun 87-81, to 81, as Candace Parker torched the Sun with 33 points and 16 glass grabbing rebounds and the Seattle Storm were lambasted by the Chicago Sky 74 to 58 as the NBA Finals are in full throttle and after OKC's Kevin Durant lit up the scoreboard with 36 points in game one Durant became the second player since the ABA NBA merger next to Allen Iverson who scored 48 points to score the highest points in his first NBA Finals tied with Michael Michael Jordan. But what's most impressive with his scoring prowess is that he does it so effortlessly. Whether it's catching and shooting the ball, coming off a pick and roll, or shaking the rim with a thunderous dunk. It is all pretty much done without much energy exertion and self-glorified hype. In sporting news, since most people agree that Manny Pacquiao was robbed and bound Boozled in his fight against Timothy Bradley, the World Boxing Organization announced Wednesday they will review the controversial victory. WBO President Francisco Paco Valcasel, who was ringside for the fight, stated, quote, I want to clarify that in no way does this say we are doubting the capacity of these judges, which we consider as honest and competent judges. Close quote. For your London Summer Olympic news, I had the pleasure of watching the 20th anniversary of the Dream Team that included a laundry list of talented players with the exception of Isaiah Thomas, who was intentionally left off the team, but 20 years later, he harbors no bitterness and congratulated the Dream Team on their anniversary. The 2010 Tour de France champion Andy Schleck pulled out of this year's race due to a spine injury he sustained during the Criterium du Dauphin last week. And finally, Cameroon-born Daniel Kuhn rocked Australian weightlifting by claims that he demanded $5,000 to compete at the Olympic qualifying event, knowing Australia's chance of having a competitor at the London Games would be wrecked if he withdrew. For your NBA quick dribbles, the Miami Heat remain non-committal on whether All-Star forward Chris Bosh will return to the starting lineup tonight in Game 2 of the NBA Finals against the Oklahoma City Thunder. The NBA says the league's Board of Governors has voted to approve the sale of the New Orleans Hornets to New Orleans Saints owner Tom Benson for $338 million. The NBA fined Boston Celtics center Kevin Garnett 12 tenths of his $21.2 million salary, on other terms, $25,000 Wednesday, for failing to make himself available to reporters following the Game 7 loss to Miami. And finally, the Oklahoma City Thunder's victory of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals drew the highest rating for a Game 1 that ABC has ever had, drawing an 11.8 overnight Nielsen rating up 10% from last year's finals game one between the Heat and the Dallas Mavericks. Stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality (laughs) in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because God has something special in store for you.